Let's take a look at the number of ions in CuSO4. This is copper 2 sulfate. So when we look at CuSO4, we know that copper, that's a transition metal, and then sulfate, the SO4, the sulfur and the oxygen, those are nonmetals. Metal, nonmetals, it's going to be an ionic compound. We need to think about the charge. We can't really tell the charge from the copper here because it's a transition metal. But the sulfate, you just need to remember that sulfate, SO4, this is the sulfate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. The whole thing is 2 minus. Great one to remember. So since we have a 2 minus here, and this is an ionic compound, the net charge needs to add up to 0. 2 minus, we need to have a 2 plus. And that's why we're calling it copper 2 when we say copper 2 sulfate. Put this in water. It's going to dissolve and dissociate. We'll get the copper ion the copper 2 ion, and that'll be aqueous, dissolved in water, and then we'll get the sulfate ion, SO4, 2 minus, which will also be aqueous. So in answer to our question, we'll have one copper 2 ion and one sulfate polyatomic ion, so a total of two ions in CuSO4. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.